Hi Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or however Sagittarius may show up on your astrological natal chart, then these messages are for you Sagittarius. And today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what your uh, person in this connection and separation or long distance relationship or connection is feeling towards you right now at this moment in time but first for those of you who are new to my channel welcome my name is Alexa tarot and i am a second degree reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader and if you're interested in learning more about me my client testimonial or my credentials just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link for those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. As you know, these are all free channeled messages, and the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload or whenever I go live on my live stream. Now, if you know any like-minded individuals in your social circle that you feel may benefit from these types of messages, feel free to share my YouTube link with them. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look here at what what are your person's feelings towards you in this connection and separation or long distance relationship or connection? All right, let's see how your person is feeling about you right now at this moment in time. They have caution, they have self-love, and they have spark, okay? So this is coming across is that they're treading something either cautiously or slowly here. This could be something having to do with this person's past or recent past, okay? So number one, this card is all the way here to the left-hand side, which is showing me like past or recent past direction, okay? And this one here, the spark is is you know, more further down the line, which is more like future, right? You know, right now, currently they are in this energy of self-love, positive image here. What I'm getting here is that there could have been something in their past or recent past that may be slowing down or that they may be a little bit um, hesitant here on showing or feeling vulnerable here. Okay, whether it's feeling vulnerable or whether it's telling you about how vo their vulnerabilities here in this connection. However, there is here a lot of passion, um, interest, chemistry, and it's coming across as mutual, okay, because you do have these two um, matches um, connected here in the top part. So there's a sense here of either there's a sense of like-mindedness, so they feel that you and them are in the same kind of wavelength in regards to either a plan, a goal, or maybe just feeling the same in regards to this connection, okay? So there's a sense here of chemistry. For others of you who have been in this connection and separation for quite some time, and you are a seasoned couple, it's coming across as reignited passion between the both of you, okay? Now, now, this card here in the middle that says self-love, this is about this person, and this person is wrapping their arms around them. So even though there's love, this says self-love here, there's a sense of this person kind of um, wrapping their arms um, uh, around themselves. And it's coming across as they you're either comforting themselves in this kind of like new territory. So for some of you, this is coming across as someone, uh, you know, as a, as a kind of like an early stage of uh, this connection, maybe even the what, what's called the honeymoon phase. So there could be here that type of energy here. And this person is kind of like feeling like, you know, can I be vulnerable? You know, how much should I share? You know, am I going to get hurt? Because I have a lot of feelings here. Okay, because the spark is telling me here, there is a lot of emotions here in regards to this connection with you. So there could be, again, like-minded uh type of energy, kind of looking at the same future or looking at goals in the same way. Definitely here, mutual attraction coming through and passion here. So there's a sense of this desire within them in regards to this connection with you. Let's see how else this person is feeling right now at this moment in time. And then we're going to jump to the last deck over here. That happens automatically. So I'll just move this to the side and then just 
flip this over and they have here the page of cups okay the page of cups is coming across as maybe this was an unexpected connection or an unexpected uh, separation here, meaning physical separation, right? They're in one location, you're in another location. But this Page of Cups is someone who is pleasantly surprised here. And again, like I said a little while ago for, uh, for them at the top of the reading, there could have been here something in their past or recent past that has created this sense of being a little bit more cautious. It's like they're afraid to get their feelings or emotions hurt, or they, they I'm getting here kind of like feeling a little bit like, you know, is this too good to be true also, right? Because maybe this person hasn't felt like this in a very long time. So the spark is telling me here that there could have been the reason in the past or recent past is that this experience here may have caused or may be creating the sense of them um, kind of being a little bit he hesitant or apprehensive, okay? Now, the fact that they have the Page of Cups here, this is coming across as someone who's actually surprised at either their emotions or surprised at the fact that there's it's reciprocal, okay? Because I'm getting here something about it being mutual. So they're either surprised of that or surprised that destiny has crossed them into your path and your path into their path, okay? Page of Cups is followed by Temperance. Okay, Queen of Swords is here in the back, but I'm getting that some of them just are, are maybe a little bit, um, yeah, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's this feeling here. Remember, that's the card that um, stayed behind. There's definitely here a feeling of uh, teamwork here. So they either feel that there is this like minded set is contributing to their feeling of that you are the type of person that they can plan with that they can create with okay that they can establish something um solid or stable here with time of course i'm saying with time for two reasons with time because pentacles energy is a slow moving energy and with time because they also have here the temperance card okay temperance card is about uh patience but it's also about combining two things together and remember that i said this person may have had an experience in their past or recent past where they may have gotten hurt where it was a little bit difficult for them to um deal with that breakup separation or divorce and so there's this feeling of trying to move slowly in regards to their love life and somehow surprise that either a both of your your paths cross crossed or surprise that there is this kind of uh passion within them in regards to this connection with you Last but not least, let's see what else is coming through in regards to this person's feelings towards you, Sagittarius. Let's see what else. Oh, by the way, Sagittarius, temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius. So you're like, le le like really here in the middle of this person's um, reading. So definitely here, there's this sense of being surprised that you may have crossed their path, okay, with the two uh, water uh, merging two things into one. Okay, and there's also distance between them, but there's also this energetic connection between the both, okay? So very beautiful card there. So surprise about you crossing their path or them crossing your path. And, you know, there's this feeling here of being able to uh, work as a team. Last but not least, let's see what else is coming through in regards to this person's feelings towards you. And we have here, what does it say? Physical connection, the sacred union of bodies, to becoming one this person is uh thinking here about how to either physically or you know how to continue this spark going between the both of you whether that's uh intimate physically intimate uh, intimately or whether this is intimacy in regards to getting to know each other talking um you know seeing each other through video calls, um, you know, maintaining that connection here with each other. Because again, like I said, there's a lot of passion here, sacred union of bodies and two becoming one. And I'm feeling here, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. I'm feeling here that this two becoming one for some of you, yes, it may be physical. So you may be seeing them soon. But others of you, I'm getting that it's more energetic. So this person is really thinking about you so much to the point of kind of energetically being within your your energy or you being within their energy. So there's the sense that even though there is a physical distance, 
energetically, this person is very much connected to you in some way, shape, or form, like this temperance card is in regards to these two things that they are blending into one. Sagittarius, I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.